Welcome back to my channel. Now today we have a really good um, episode. Why am I saying episode? Because <laughs> I'm, so so saying episode. I'm so used to saying episode because of our podcast. Yeah. By the just way, recorded one today. Yeah, YouTube fam. If you haven't heard, we have a podcast called Stage Chats, and we talk about periods, toxic teachers. Body confidence. Body confidence. Stage fails. Yes, yeah, stage fails. I just spoke about a haunted hotel story that yeah. I had at the Royal Ballet. Anyway, you guys need to be a part of it. Yeah. Anyway, this is Ailish. So, and we're doing a big point video today. We're basically yeah. going to try two point hacks, right? With point shoes. These are mm -hmm. Merlet point shoes, by the way. I got gifted these a while ago. I so, like Merlot. So cute, me too. Yeah. Um, we are also going to do a mini point class in this as well, like some point exercises to test out the hacks, okay? So you guys are gonna know all about that in a second. Okay, so the first hack we're going to be trying with our point shoes. Ailish is gonna do one point shoe, I'm gonna do the other point yeah. shoe. But we are actually going to do that little trick where you use the all elastic ribbons. You know these guys? So the whole ribbon is basically like just elastic, okay? Yeah. We're going to basically sew it. How do we sew it, Ailish? I think what we do, right, is we get the two end bits, then we sew that Here. either side of the point shoe. Here. I also feel like this might be too long, this ribbon still. But anyway, we can try. We'll try. We're basically gonna do that trick where you loop this around your ankle and your foot. Have you guys seen that before? If yeah. you haven't, you're about to see it. Um, so we're sewing it in that particular way so we can do that. Then the second hack we're going to try out is Ailish is going to sew one pair of point shoes with dental floss because so many of you wanted me to try this. I actually do, did this all the time. Oh really? Okay, yeah. well, there you go. So Ailish is going to sew that pair with yeah. dental floss and I'm going to sew my pair of point shoes with normal sewing string. So. <laughs> Normal sewing string, yeah. and I'm gonna compare which one feels better. Yeah. All right. So let's do it. Let's go. Let's Woo! go. Just got the needle and thread ready. Yeah, guys. The sewing is beginning. Let's how, do this. How annoying is it when you're trying to get your thread or your dental floss yeah. <laughs> through the needle hole? Like I feel like dental floss though, because it's a bit like sturdier and thicker. It's actually easier than that. Okay. So yeah. already dental floss wins. All yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it. I'm keen to see what you think about it. I know. If you can like notice a difference or not, like I between. I know, it. between. So just sewn one side. First impression of the dental floss. What do you reckon? Ailish is way faster than me, so <laughs> it's obviously easier to sew with dental It is, floss. I feel like it's just like a bit sturdier. How are you going? I'm struggling with this thread, to be oh, honest. Yeah. Anyway. Okay guys, so we've finished. We've finished sewing our ribbons, elastic ribbons, in this funny old loop, and we're about to put them on my feet. So this one here has thread, this one here has dental floss, okay? I'm gonna put on the dental floss ones first. So Ailish is now doing this little trick for me. So you go under like that, around the back, under again, and you're gonna do the same thing again, hey? Yep. Oh, this feels really cool. Do you reckon one more time? Yeah, one more time, go. Squeeze her in. And this is the dental floss shoe, guys. So far I can't tell any difference with no. the dental floss. Oh, guys, we can't get it on. <laughs> It's like fitting a sausage in a... Oh, I God. Oh, I'm Sorry, dead. I don't want to cut your circulation off. <laughs> we can't stop laughing. Okay, I think I actually like this hack. Guys, it's so nice because they've got no bulk. Mm. See what I mean? So, so no knots. I love that. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go in the studio and I'm going to try doing like a chapeze and some turns and we're going to see how the dental floss holds up and how the ribbons hold up too. So, to test out and see if the dental floss works and if the ribbons work, we're going to do this exercise together. So we'll do one a chape a second, like this. We'll go out, then fondue down, and then releve back up. A long J, come in and repeat the same thing again. Out, down, up, in. Then I want you to face slightly on the diagonal and you're going to do one releve tire to the front. Arms third, then go to the back and down, so lower down on that right leg, then a part of the right, up, up, then repeat. Down, up, in, out, down, up, in, up, up, and part of the right, and we'll do it four times, okay? So give it a go with me.
next exercise, we're gonna go slightly more into the corner. So what I want you to do is do two sutanus. So you're gonna go sutanu, sutanu, lower down, then releve up to a tire, arms fit, and then lower. Then do pirouette. You can do as many as you want. Pirouette, land, around, place. Then do five sutanus to finish. One, two, three, four, five, chasse, up. So basically you do two sutanus, a releve and retire down as many turns as you want. Land, a little swivel around, place, five sutanus finished in any free pose. Okay, well, let's give it a go. I'm just gonna quickly put my hair up in a bun because we just did one take and my hair was flying everywhere. Okay, all right, take two. I'm sure all of you watching this know what fuetes are. Now, one of my favorite ways to get strength for fuetes is actually just doing continuous releves in retire on point. So, this is what you're going to do. I personally fuete to the right. So, if you're a righty, follow exactly what I'm doing. If you're a lefty, you're gonna be doing the opposite leg, okay? So, what I like to do is I like to find a little mark on the floor. So, let's just say it's this white mark. I put my foot on the mark. And then I basically just do 16 releves like this. One, and a two, and a three, and the goal is to stay on that right mark, okay? So let's just do 16 of those together and I'll tell you why this is really important for Fuertes. You're probably gonna notice right now your supporting leg. You can really feel it, right? You feel the calf muscle working and basically what that exercise does is it really strengthens up your supporting leg ready for fuetes. So if you can do 16 releves and retire on the spot like that, you'll most likely be able to do at least eight fuetes, okay? So keep doing that. That's my top tip for today. Now I'm gonna take off my shoes and let's just see if the dental floss, I'm so out of breath. Let's see if the dental floss work, okay? Guys, it actually worked, okay? I'm gonna compare it now to the three. Jeans so bad. <laughs> Look, it's literally the same. This one smells minty. <laughs> but it's literally the same, honestly. I would use dental floss any day, guys. If you're at home and you run out of thread, literally use dental floss, wow. And I actually loved the twisting trick. I reckon that like works a miracle. So I hope you guys love this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Yay. And we're gonna see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.